Hello and welcome to another OpenShift tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show how we can use application monitoring tools like Neuralink um, along with Spring Boot uh, on OpenShift. So let's go and uh, try to deploy a Spring Boot application uh, which uses Neuralink uh, agent. So in this um, demo, uh, we are going to use a base image which contains CentOS and then Java installed on it and also Maven you know, and uh, Neuralink agent. So it has all these components in the base image. You can separate out Neuralink agent into a different um, base image and that's, that's the ideal way. But just for the sake of simplicity, I've put all these things in one base image. And on top of that base image, we are going to deploy a Spring application. So that will be our application image. Okay. So let's go and take a look in the base image what we have here. So this is a base image. Um, if we look at the Docker file here, you can see it's uh, coming from base CentOS 7 image and then installing Java and then Maven and also adding some uh, sourced image scripts which are specific to OpenShift and then adding a Neuralink agent um, as well. Okay, so <clears throat> pretty simple um, Docker file. Uh, once you try to understand these steps, it's pretty straightforward and nothing magic here. So once we have this base image, um, we can deploy an application image on top of this base image that will be automated by OpenShift using a process called source to image, where you have the source to image uh, files in this uh, folder All right so this is not about source to image let's focus on Neuralink and then uh, deploying Spring Boot application with Neuralink All right so I have a uh, sample repo here uh, it's uh, github.com slash Debian master openshift examples and then go for Spring Boot dash Neuralink in this example, uh, we can deploy application in two ways. One is using template and another way using um, OpenShift command line tools. I'm going to show you how to use um, a template. So this template is defined here. All right, so just let's just imp import this template. For that, let's go to the OpenShift UI. I'm going inside my project. And then if I want to import this template, I can do a command like this, or I can just select the JSON content of this template. This is a YML file. And then go to add to project, import YML JSON, and then add it here. So I can do it in both ways. So I want to just uh, save the template for now. Okay, my template is saved. Once my template is loaded, if you click on add to project and then click on uh, this filter button, filter uh, text here and then search for Spring. So you can see my newly imported template will be here, Spring Boot New Relic S2I. So I can just select this and you can see it is basically importing base CentOS and then um, some source uh, image base images um, and by default this is the name of the application that get de de get the, that gets deployed and I have a sample spring application in this git repo if you want to take a look it's a pretty straightforward spring application nothing specific to openshift or Neuralink so that's the same that's a sample application I'm deploying you can choose any other spring application if you want and I'll leave all these uh, defaults except these two. Um, so this is a Neuralink application name and this is a Neuralink license key that I need to fill out. So my pet store is the application name that I have assigned in the Neuralink. So you can see this is my pet store. There's no apps running now. And uh, the license key and is a secret so 
I will pause this video for a second so you won't mess with my life. So I have entered my license key and then hit uh, create at the bottom and then I then my application is getting created so I click on continue to overview and you can see there is a new deployment uh, activity that that is created for my spring application. Um, I just need to manually kick off these uh, builds. Um, go click on the S2I build here and then do a start build. That's all you need to uh, do for the build to complete. And once the build is complete, it is going to deploy application. So let's take a look what, what exactly is happening inside uh, builds. So it created a base image that we have seen. Uh, this image which has CentOS, Maven, New Relic and Java and that's the image that you see here and this is the application image that depends on the base image so once the application image has been built it is creating a uh, once the base image has been built it is creating an application image and you can see the build is happening now you want to take a look in the logs and uh, should show in a couple of seconds or uh, maybe let's just go to the overview and let's wait for that to complete so give it a couple of seconds and uh, you want to take a look on the base image logs you can see it cloned and then it also fetched a CentOS image and then installed Java, installed Maven and also installed New Relic, right? So everything is done in the in this base image, and the application image itself is also completed. If you get okay, take a look on the logs. Uh, it is reading the pom.xml file and then installing all the dependencies on top of the base image. Yep. And uh, if we go back, our Spring Boot application is up and running. And you want to see if you want to see logs, click on logs here, and you can see the Spring uh, application boot up is shown here. And also, you can see the New Relic agent uh, logs, um, like log messages. Um, so let's see if the New Relic uh, Cloud APM tool is basically getting data from this uh, application or not. So I've, I've selected this. And you can see my application is up and running. And let's try to hit some endpoints. I have a health endpoint on this application, which shows nothing, just sends a 200 request. I have a cancer endpoint on this, which shows it killed the part. Um, and also, I have a DB test endpoint, which basically throws an error. Okay, so we have. I've seen that we have thrown an error and also some other successful um, endpoints. Uh, this takes a couple of seconds to get updated. Um, in my observation, it took about five minutes for it to complete. You can see. You can see data once we have once this uh, APM gets the data, it is basically collected shown here. So I'll give it a couple of seconds. So you can see the app server is up. It shows um, metrics here. And if I go click on apps and then select pet store, um, in quite in sometime you will be able to see all the other uh, data as well like errors that we have seen and also other endpoints that I have um, tried to access so the delay is um, is about I say I would say five minutes so just wait for a couple of minutes to get the data so you can see data is coming now and it is on the root uh, endpoint All right and in in some time you should be able to see the error uh, as well 
Right, so this is all I have for the New Relic uh, agent uh, on Spring Boot, um, which runs on OpenShift again. If you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up and also do subscribe um, and share it with your friends. Thank you very much.